Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing great. So today we are going to learn how to run Ansible playbooks via Jenkins pipeline. So first we'll create a freestyle job and we'll install Ansible plugin and we'll run our job to run the Ansible playbooks. The second job I'll be creating a Jenkins pipeline job and that pipeline job will run our Ansible playbooks. So let us begin. So the first job which I am going to create that will be free style job. So let us create a free style job. So playbook run any name free style. Now I, I have created one job in the past just there is an option copy from. So you, you can use that. So I'm just using this, there was one job already, just copying it from there in our pipeline. I have copied the job in our, this free style job. So now let us see. In the build environment, I'm using one option that is color. Why color is used? You can see the color output when Ansible playbooks will run into your screen. Now, in the build steps, I am getting an option invoke Ansible playbooks. How exactly this option I am getting? I will first show you that. Go to manage Jenkins. Here in manage Jenkins, we have manage plugins. And you can search. In my system, I have already installed Ansible related plugins. But if you will search, you will find in the available sections. I will show you in the installed plugin sections. I have already installed it. So it is present in installed plugin. So here if I type Ansible, you can see Ansible Tower plugin and Ansible plugin. So for you, you can install Ansible plugin, which will help you to run Ansible ad hoc commands and Ansible playbooks. Now, once this is done, now let us go to our, our freestyle job. And let us see how we can configure the job to run our Ansible playbooks. So, in in the uh, I want to see the colored output, so I am se selecting this color NC console output. And this this is also again one plugin NC color plugin. You can find in the available sections, and you can install this plugin. Once you will install. In the build environment section, you will see color and see console output. So I am selecting it, yes. Now, in the build step, first section is playbook path. So path of Ansible playbook file, the path can be absolute uh, relative to job workplace. So here I have one plugin which I created in our system in home vagrant install.yml. Let us go to our system and let us see. So if see here, I have what I have done. I have installed this. Uh, I I have a playbook. What this playbook is going to do? This is going to run on the local host. Means on the same system where we are running our Ansible. Same system we are doing. So host is local host. Connection is local. So right now we are not running this playbook on any remote computer. So we are making connection to local. So on the same system, this playbook will run. And then tasks name is check or install, whatever the name you want to give. And using yum module, we are giving the name of software that is Docker and a state is latest. Means we are telling that please install the latest version of Docker in our computer. So Docker was installed previously. So I am just removing the Docker playbook here, Docker manually using yum command and then we'll run our playbook to install it. Docker, Docker was already installed here, you can see. So just we, we will be removing Docker, yum remove Docker hyphen y. So now Docker is removed from the system. Now, as you can see, what is the path of our playbooks install.yml? It is home vagrant and then install.yml. So what I have given in the playbook path, home vagrant install.yml. Now, it is telling file path or comma separated machine list. So if you are using the inventory file, then you can give the inventory file path 
or if you are specifying multiple machines here, you can specify here as well. So I am right now going to run on the local host. So I am giving local host. If you have more machines, you can put comma separated as many machines you want to put. That's it. If you need some credentials to connect, you can put the credential. But right now we don't have any credentials for the local system. So it is fine. Now I am saving this and I am clicking on build now button. So let us see what happens. So you can see build is still in progress. It is taking time to build the job. Meanwhile, let us see the console output. So you can see the output is really colored here. So now it was gathering the facts. After that, it is going to the install section. So let us see what happens after the installations. So now you can see our playbook run was successful. And here one changes has been done means Docker was already installed in our system. So this way you can create a free style job, which will be running any of your plug and playbooks on our systems. Here we have passed the host name as a local host, but you can specify any machines which you want to connect to. And the, the, in the credentials, you can save the credentials or you can type the credentials while running your playbooks. So this is a simple free style job. So this was a free style job using Ansible plugin we have installed or run our Ansible playbooks. In the next video, I'll be showing you how to run Ansible pipelines and in pipelines, how to run Ansible playbooks on any of the target system. Thank you so much guys for giving your valuable time.